All right, your questions for Team Canada. Rebecca, congratulations. How does it feel to uh, pull out that kind of a win on home soil? Yeah, of course, it's fantastic. I don't think it can get much better. Uh, I feel like I gave everyone their money's worth with the three set nail biter match today. Um, you know, obviously some nerves at the beginning, uh, just trying to settle into the match. And as it continued, I felt like I, I found my stride. So I'm, I'm really proud of the, the fight and effort I put in today and to, to have my first uh, win with a home tie and to be in Vancouver is like cherry on top. Better than Super Dogs. Better than Super Dogs. <laughs> I mean, that's, uh, Super Dogs is pretty incredible. I'm not going to lie. Great memories with that in the, the, the Coliseum here, but I think this might top it. Yeah. Um, what did Heidi say to you after the second set uh, to help you reset and and uh, get ready for the third there? Yeah, well, she was telling me just to reset, uh, to trust myself, and almost to pretend that it was a, a practice match. I hope I remember that properly, yeah. <laughs> but that was the sort of stuff she was telling me to do, and I found that really helpful just to sort of reset and recenter um, and find my, my stride a little bit better. And uh, so I was, I was really grateful to have her um, on the side just calming me down and getting me through through the third set. And Heidi, can you talk about uh, your team's performance as a whole today? Obviously, two big wins. It's probably nice to take a 2-0 lead into the second day. Uh, what did you see from your team that uh, you're, you can build on heading into tomorrow? Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of both girls. I mean, uh, they went out there and they played their best. And, you know, obviously we got what we wanted today, was, uh, which is, you know, the win, 2-0. But... Um, you know, I feel like it's first day playing, um, you know, as a favorite in a, you know, in a home tie is not easy. And I think both girls felt a lot of pressure, um, I think especially Rebecca, but I'm proud with the way she handled it, her and, uh, and Layla. And I think, uh, you know, tomorrow we're going to come out with more confidence and hopefully play a little bit looser. And uh, in a way, we know a little bit what to expect um, because, you know, two matches against, against those two girls, uh, it's pretty helpful, so we'll be a little bit more prepared tomorrow. Hi, Rebecca. Congratulations on the win today. Thanks. Um, you, your serve was incredible uh, through especially the first and most of the second set, and then um, maybe at the end of the second set it, it was faltering a little bit for mm -hmm. you. Um, um, what did you, how did you, how did you get through it? I mean, like early in the third set, there was a there was a really crucial game. You were down two break points, um, and and you fought through somehow. How did you how did you pull through in those moments? Yeah, well, uh, I I feel like the serve was my one thing I could rely on really heavily today. That was um, from the start of the well, other than that very first game, but for the the rest of the match, that was my most solid part of the game. And so every time I stepped up to serve on my service game, I was I was feeling really confident ready to go. Um, and there were a lot of close games where I, I had break points and I just didn't capitalize on it. So I knew that opportunity would come. And Heidi and I were talking that I needed to take a little bit more chances and go for it. And luckily, that that uh, played off really well in the third set. And when I was up 40-15 and got that chance, so that was great. Um, you talked about on court, you, you talked about the crowd, how it made you a little nervous. Mm. Um, I know as a tennis player, you are, we're always trying to, you're always trying to stay in the moment um, and play every point. Did they, did they manage to pull you out of the moment at any time? Like, were you thinking about getting, <laughs> were you thinking about um, the win or were you, like, did you, did you have to recenter yourself and how did you manage to do that? Yeah, I think I did a really good job of staying present today. I wasn't thinking about the win or that moment or visualizing that. I think you really don't want to get um, too far ahead of yourself. So really, really did a good job of taking my time and breathing and staying present. That was something we talked about before the match that I really needed to, to take care of and be aware of. Um, just the nerves is because it, it, it meant a lot to me to have all my closest friends, all my family right there in the stands. I can literally see them, see their faces. So I, I want to do well for them, and I was excited. Um, so yeah, um, it just when I say I'm nervous, it means I'm, I'm also excited, and it means a lot to me. And... Uh, so I'm, I'm really proud of today's performance. Hi, Rebecca. Again, congratulations on a tough fought win. Um, and I mean, we you talk we talk a lot about you playing in front of your home crowd. I mean, uh, you're in a familiar training environment. You're able to get access to the UBC Tennis Center where you used to train. And I mean, just does that familiarity sort of play into your performance here tonight? 
Yeah, I think so. I think I'm really fortunate that I, I have so many uh, resources and people who are here to, to help me um, and who've helped me from the beginning. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something um, that would be advantageous. And I feel very fortunate for that. And I'm, I'm trying not to, uh, like I'm trying to make sure that I keep the gratitude for, for everyone who's helping me through this tie. Um, not just on our, our team and the staff, but there's like so many people behind the scenes that are doing things that make me feel comfortable. Yeah, now um, going to the fourth year of this comeback, and I mean, mm -hmm. you've been getting slowly gaining and gaining more momentum. I mean, is, is this win in front of a home crowd, is this it's going into day two, is this something that you can use still as like a building platform to um, push even higher, um, even, after, even after the Beijing Cup? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I feel like I've had a really good start to this year. 2022 has um, been been really fantastic. Uh, I've made three finals so far, including one tournament win, I qualified for Australian Open, and I qualified for Miami. So, so I feel like the momentum is right there, and this is something that will continue that momentum and continue to build my confidence as I play throughout the year, uh, particularly going into clay court, grass court season. Um, I, I know that I have a lot to look forward to and a lot of opportunities that I want to capitalize on. Hello, ladies. Um, great job today for the both of you. Um, Rebecca, you played a wonderful game, and it was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, every time you hit that ball, your skirt would just go left, right, with like <laughs> such power. It was really fantastic. Um, if uh, your serve is your superpower, um, do you think that it might be a, maybe a slight disadvantage that now the first day is, is over and tomorrow's match, um, Daria will know what she's going to come into? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's uh, it's from both sides now, though. I know how she's going to come out and play. Um, so that's sort of the, the fun part of the Billie Jean King Cup is that, uh, you know, you, you learn a lot from the first day and you take that into the second day and try to do your best. So sure, they're going to know what my serve is like, um, but I'm going to take it as a challenge and try to maybe hit as many aces as possible, that sort of thing. But like, it, it, is, my, it, it is my bread and butter, and I, I want to continue the, the good feeling I have, not think too hard about it, but just go in feeling good and light on my feet. We're going to go online. Question from Tom Tebbett. Uh, Rebecca, uh, at this stage of your career and playing Fed Cup for your country and playing in your hometown, um, and all the things you've done, all the matches you've played, how much different was being out there today in, in your hometown in this situation? Gosh, I mean, I think I can say this was particularly special, and it's going to be something I'm never going to forget. Um, so I'm, I'm very grateful that um, Tennis Canada selected Vancouver as the, the host city for this tie. Um, so thank you to them. Um, but yeah, I just, uh, I just feel very happy, very proud. I feel like we had a great crowd out today. Vancouver really came out um, and filled the stadium, and we're very loud. So I'm very proud of everything that's happened, and this is... Uh, very memorable experience for me, for sure. Were you, were you afraid of being a little bit overwhelmed? Because obviously the first game you were pretty shaky. Yeah, um, that was something I was aware of. Um, so that's why I didn't want to stay too long and watch a lot of Layla's match as much as I wanted to be courtside. I knew that it's, uh, it can be a little overwhelming um, knowing how many people are out there, um, the, the feeling of the stadium and the, the crowd noise. So I, yeah, unfortunately I was a little slow in that, that first game, but um, I feel like it allowed me to settle in for the next, and um, I, I really did start to find my rhythm as the match continued, so that was a really good feeling, and I think it's going to be to my benefit going in tomorrow, um, knowing that I can fight through even if I'm not feeling particularly my best at the start. I don't want to hug all the questions. There's one last one. Uh, how, how impressed were you with her? She was pretty scrappy. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's you're, you always have to expect that from, from the underdog at, at these ties. Um, and I, I've watched some of her matches at other events, and I know she likes to move and run a lot, and uh, those are the sort of players that I, I struggle with. But, yeah, the, the underdog is never to be underestimated. Um, so I think that's, that's kind of what happened a little bit today. But I'm, I'm about proud of the, the fight and resiliency I had through the match um, and to pull off the win. Yeah. Next question from Ben Lewis. Hi, Re Rebecca, congrats on the win. Um, question for Heidi. Uh, obviously, it's understandable. Oh, oh we lost oh, you. We, we can't hear you. Oh. There, you're back. We're good? 
Um, just question for Heidi. Obviously, understandable that the players are nervous going into a, an environment like that. Are, are you nervous watching on the sidelines? And, and how do you stay how do you stay calm in that environment too? Because uh, you can't really control the outcome, uh, you know, from the side. Right. I mean, I definitely do feel some nerves. Like, uh, you know, with Rebecca, I feel like I'm playing with her. And so I definitely do feel some nerves. But it's my job to stay super calm and try to, like, bring that calmness to the chair. And uh, I think that was a challenge for me today is kind of help her get through the nerves and, uh, you know, keep her in the present and uh, try to get her to play loose. And, uh, you know, she, she played incredible, especially in the third set, especially after... Uh, you know, being up 3-0 in a tie break, she was able to just kind of like reset and start super strong. But um, very, very proud of um, of the way she uh, she came through and performed today, and uh, Layla as well. If you were nervous, I oh. definitely didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we couldn't see it either. Uh, great, great performance, and uh, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you both. Good luck Thanks tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. Hey, good job. Thanks.